Welcome everyone to our next Tempo Dialogue. Um, very glad to have you with us. Some of you, many of you have been at previous ones. We have quite a few new people as well. So the Tempo Project is bringing together physical scientists, social scientists, and musicians to explore how we can use music to change the emotional climate about climate change, leading to a place of action. And through these dialogues, we are bringing together scientists and musicians to see where, what we can share, how we can inform each other about directing about action on the climate crisis. In this case, we're going to be looking at the process itself, talking about how uh, science creates a picture of reality, as well as how music can use improvisation to create a different picture of, of different realities and see what we can learn from each other about these processes. We have Tapio Schneider, a climate modeler from Caltech, and Kikuko Maruo from uh, Japan, uh, improvisational musician. Before. So rather than verbally talking about what to do, they sort of know that if she does this, I will do this. There's this kind of chemistry and experience and known things that what we would do with each other. So we didn't have verbal framework so much. We didn't have too much time either. So we were like, okay, let's just gather and do it. I, I think I resonated with some things Kikuku said about improvisation and her piece and how it goes that, you know, there were there are perhaps little clues passed from one to another and out of that emerges the music, the motion and the like. We don't know, we cannot predict a few years from now, whether there will be a hurricane in Texas or a, typh a typhoon in Tokyo. Um, that depends very much on the improvisation the climate system does with the broad conditions we give it, how much CO2 is in the atmosphere. Small changes in what the atmosphere does, the famous butterfly effect. What, what we humans do to the climate system is give it broad conditions, how much CO2 is in the atmosphere. And within those conditions, the climate system has its own music on which, over which we have no control really. And we have to, um, we have to listen to that music, live with that music and adapt to that music. 